is then drone footage to create a photo real 3D environment in 20 minutes. And then we use that to create a cinematic short in Unreal Engine 5. We promised you yesterday, we show you exactly how we did it. So here it goes. First, we needed a drone shot from the Vancouver Art Gallery. This is David. We found him a couple of days ago on Instagram because of his beautiful drone footages around Vancouver. I just want to give a fucking shout out to David for coming out on a Saturday morning, morning with us. After some planning, it was time to start. Ready, set, go. The plan was to move super slow, shoot in 4K resolution, fast shutter speed, and a wide depth of field to have the clearest and sharpest image. Now for this to work, we had to do a 360 orbit around the gallery. But the problem is that there are all sorts of tall buildings around and to avoid hitting them, the only choice was to split up the orbit into multiple trajectories and movements, which is not ideal. We are going under the drone to make sure we can fly it and we are not hitting any building. That's pretty good. Yeah, we got it? Yeah. Now that we had the footage of the building, it was time to recreate the environment in 3D. We want to use artificial intelligence to turn these footages into a Nerf. Think of Nerf as a 3D volumetric capture created as a result of our footage. A capture that we can take straight into Unreal Engine 5 to have ultimate control over the environment. I'll make it simple for you. If the video was taken at one angle using a Nerf, you now have access to a lot more than just one angle. You can drop cameras virtually anywhere, add your own lighting setup, your own elements and characters, and create an entire story with one five to 10 second video. We were ready to create the nerfs, but we were facing a huge problem. Most of the videos that we uploaded into Luma AI didn't even process. We didn't know why, but those that process turned out great. To fix this problem, we had a solution. We're gonna stitch the videos together at different lengths and create 20 to 30 different versions. And yes, the good news was they all processed successfully. But the issue was, since they were not one continuous shot, we ended up with blurry nerfs and loads of artifacts. At this point, we almost gave up. Farouz was smoking and Farouz stopped eating. At midnight, right before we scrapped this whole project, we came up with our last idea, our last hope we analyzed the only footage that gave us the best nerf in the start. The key to that first raw footage was that there was no state of idleness. So then we went to the other raw clips, trimmed them so that they're always in a state of movement. And then we decided to upload them one more time. All right, you ready? Let's go. Oh, wow, shit, wow, that's dude. Good. We can use this. We yeah, we got the angle right. This, yeah. Oh my god, we let's fucking go, did it. Go. <laughs> Out of all the versions, we ended up with two decent nerfs that we could use in Unreal Engine 5. Luma AI has this neat UE5 plugin that lets you drag and drop an entire nerf into your scene. It works like magic. Fuck off. Since most nerfs are not perfect and have sides that are incomplete or have some sort of artifact, we must first lock down our camera angle. And as for the camera settings, we're using an IMAX 70mm with the squeeze factor dialed up to 2, which is going to give you that anamorphic lens effect and also make it look like you're watching a movie. It just looks beautiful. For our character, we downloaded a model from Sketchfab and animated it using Mixamo. Now Spidey was going to be on a call with Aunt May and since he had no phone attached to the hand, we downloaded that from Sketchfab and used the constraint tool in Unreal to parent it to the hand bone. Added a post-process volume to control the exposure, bloom, vignette and film grain to add that cinematic feel. By this time we're almost done. But there's one final crucial step, and that is lighting, because the lighting makes a difference between your nerf looking real or absolutely fake. There's three settings or three elements that you need to focus on, and that is the exponential height fog, the sky atmosphere, and directional light. Make sure you play with those settings to get the best look. And, and that's, that's what we call a great success. See you guys tomorrow.